Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I really hope that you enjoyed all of the landscape paintings that I've done and the last video which was to stretch a piece of paper. So now I'm going to move on as promised and produce some textured effects. Well acrylics have no rival when it comes to creating your own kind of textured effects and your own kind of surface patterns. You can pretty much use whatever you get your hands on. So in front of me I've got an array of different implements to paint with. I think when you come to acrylics, creating textures isn't just about using a paintbrush. Okay, so I'm gonna use my palette knives. I'm gonna use the end of a feather, foil, and of course the wonderful sponge. Even, even down to little bits of eggshells crystal salts sands all of this thing all of these things help create wonderful textures in your paintings one of the other things i always use as well to get a, a good um thick effect is this structural gel i love to use this structural gel okay so now i'm prepared and i'm ready to start some texture effects so what i've done is i've sectioned my um drawing board into eight little areas using masking tape so what I've also done when you're taking the masking tape off just take the excess um stickiness off the masking tape so when you put it on the drawing board it's not going to adhere to your paper too too much uh, what, alongside the board I also have a grid another grid a smaller grid so I can write what it is that I've done so as I'm painting I'll have a, a reference as well so I can remember those texture effects. Okay, so I have my grid, two grids and a reference. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing some backgrounds. The backgrounds, I'm gonna do some wet on wet backgrounds and some dry backgrounds. So here I have the structured gel and acrylic paint because I'm going to do an impasto effect. Okay, so we're just going to lift that up. Impasto. We have so many famous artists that have used this technique in their work. So obviously because we're just recreating effect here i'm not trying to put any image together oops <laughs> little guy popped off there So the idea is with the impasto is that you see the brush stroke, your uh, knife marks. That is the idea, and that we have this really lovely relief effect. So I'll get my little book. A little bit left. Some people kind of mistake the impasto with graffiti because you can see the scratch marks, but the difference is graffiti is using more of a flat surface. Okay, cool. Moving on. So taking another palette knife, we're gonna apply some paint with a little bit more of a marbly effect. Don't mind that there's a blue there. So I've just got onto the palette knife there a combination of white and green. And all I'm going to do is just apply it to the surface in lots of different directions in kind of a marble effect. 
you can make that even more structured by adding more paint over the top and that creates really really nice movement if I take that to number six here again picking up some paint not worrying that the paint isn't mixed in any way it's getting mixed onto the paper and giving it a marble effect try not to overwork it because it'll just blend it together and we leave it like that now what i'd like to work on now is pointillism now i've got quite a few different colors here so i'm just going to crack on with it and the idea is is that in a kind of random as much random way as you can as the wonderful artist Shura would do, is to apply dots all over your page. And then the point is that we build this up with other colours. doing this straight from the tube again that would give it a kind of a relief effect I mean I use pointillism quite a lot especially when I'm putting texture into the trees and the foliage and you can see how by using lots of different colours, the effect and the pattern can be built up. And you can imagine with the background how effective this would look. It's almost like a little pattern of flowers. And there you go. Beautiful pointillism. Okay, last one for this stage. What I'm going to do is add some, where am I, where are my eggshells, some eggshells into my work. So I've crushed these eggshells up and I'm going to work with these eggshells to create a texture. You can use sea salt, you can use sand. I mean, I'm going to put some sandy effects over the top of some of these other ones, but this one, I'm just going to add the, these to my paste. So again, working with the structured gel. So mixing the eggshells up with the structured gel and the white acrylic paint. We've got a real nice kind of crusty texture going on here. So I'm just gonna add that to my page. And then towards the top, I'm going to echo this marble effect. A little bit left of this. Waste any of it. I'm going to cover all that up. I'm just going to leave some of it open like that. So this is stage one of all of the textured effects that I'm going to work with you. So in the next video, I'm going to work over the top of these textured effects. All right. Now I'm going to add my pointillism to number eight, seven here and my, my, my eggshells to number eight here. So don't forget, write down in your book exactly what else you've already done. And then we can build on this next week. So I hope that you enjoyed this. So have fun and I'll see you again next week. Bye now. Bye.